Have you ever had a morning where no matter what you do, everything seems to be going wrong? Well, that's just the type of morning our friend Nico is having. In fact, he feels completely unlike himself. Hmm, let's see what happens when Nico wakes up as the Grumpasaurus Rex. The Grumpasaurus Rex by Lindsay Gowden, illustrated by Juan Iglesias. For Nico, the original Grumpasaurus Rex, may you always follow your gentle heart and insatiable curiosity. When Nico went to sleep, he felt perfectly fine. He looked like himself, with wide blue eyes and tousled hair that never lay quite flat, as well as a mischievous dimple in one cheek that appeared when he smiled, which was often. As Nico drifted off to sleep, he was a content and happy little boy. But when he woke up, everything felt horribly wrong. Nico had transformed overnight into a Grumpasaurus Rex. Instead of his usual kind blue eyes, he now had fierce, angry eyes. Instead of an easy smile and a ready dimple, his jaws were primed to snap and gnash their rows of big, sharp teeth. And where his tousled hair once lay, Nico was now covered from top to tail in hard scales. Speaking of tails, where had that come from? When his mother entered his room that morning, she could see that Nico wasn't quite himself. But being his mom, she loved him all the same. And being his mom, she encouraged him to get up and start the day, whether he was a Grumpasaurus Rex or not. Rise and shine, Nico. It's time to get up, Mom exclaimed, flicking on the light. That light's too bright. I like it dark, snarled the Grumpasaurus Rex, retreating further under the covers. Let's go, buddy. Please go brush your teeth, Mom said. I hate brushing my teeth, snapped Grumpasaurus Rex, gnashing his teeth together as he stomped down the hallway towards the bathroom. When Nico tried to pick up his toothbrush, he discovered that brushing his teeth was much harder to do as a Grumpasaurus Rex. Washing his face was a lot harder as a Grumpasaurus Rex, too. In fact, just about Everything was harder to do as a Grumpasaurus Rex. Time to get dressed for school now, Nico, Mom called from down the hall. Grumpasaurus Rex did not want to go to school. Grumpasaurus Rex did not want to get dressed. Grumpasaurus Rex did not want to listen. But even a Grumpasaurus Rex has to listen to his mom, so he stomped toward the closet, grumbling the whole way. I hate clothes. This shirt is broken, grumped the Grumpasaurus Rex loudly as he struggled to get dressed. Nico's mom entered the room and she untangled him from his shirt. She suggested, why don't I make you some breakfast? Grumpasaurus Rex pondered this for a moment and scowled. Okay, if I have to, he reluctantly growled. As Nico's mom prepared breakfast, the tantalizing aroma of sizzling bacon filled the air, bringing a comforting atmosphere to the kitchen. With a warm smile, she gently remarked, I know it's been a challenging morning, but I bet you'll feel a bit better with something in your tummy. I always feel more like myself after a good breakfast, mom says she set a tower of pancakes and bacon in front of the fearsome Grumpasaurus Rex. Poof! Me too said Nico, smiling. It seems that Nico feels a lot more like himself now that he's had a good breakfast and some love from his mom. Sometimes that's all we need to get right back on track. If you like this book and you don't want to miss any others that we share, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. Read it again, Miss Jen. I'll see you next time. Grumpasaurus or not.